became extremely confused, sitting on my couch watching the news. People suffering and dying. I don't know if it's true or just one big lie. Thoughts are filling my mind. Is it possible that God has forsaken mankind? So I turn to the Quran and the Sunnah, our only solution. It offers guidance in everything, including ablution. I'm amazed as I read the stories of the prophets of the past, how they endured hardship with pleasure until they breathed their last. Their lives were filled with suffering. And if your life replicates theirs, then see it as an honoring. Ibrahim was thrown into a fire and rejected by his own people. Yunus in the stomach of a whale and Yusuf thrown into prison based on evidence so feeble. Our own prophet pelted until his shoes were filled with blood. Yet he made dua for those people until tears from his eyes began to flood. I finally realized that life is a test. And if I persevere, I'll see my true reward when I'm laid to rest. So just as Yaqub turned to Allah and put his complete faith in him, saying I complain of my anguish and sorrow to Allah alone, I shall do the same. This is all in the control of the Supreme Creator. He cures the sick, gives life and death, and there is none greater. Don't forget for a moment in time that Allah is all wise. He sent the virus to realign our lives. I'll change my negative outlook and view this as an opportunity to increase in belief, not just sit back and let my head fill with grief. I'll continue invoking Allah, making dua, raising my hands, asking Allah to protect me from any evil which He has for me planned. I'll take my precaution and follow the guidelines as that's in my ability. However, more than that, lies in no other's control besides our deity. A disease is a means of wiping out our evil deeds and a time for us to open our eyes and take heed. So do not think for a moment that your God has forsaken you or that his help he withdrew. Rather turn to Allah and find consolation in his worship for that is the true vaccination.